What's up guys, Liam here and welcome back to LSJ TV. What you are witnessing on screen right now is the winner of the first Lockdown 2.0 LSJ exercise competitions. Reese, job well done my friend. What he's doing right now is spooning some creatine whilst pressing up and pressing down and pressing up and pressing down and he's stirring it with his frigging mouth doing push-ups the entire time. Walks up and walks off with what I can only imagine being a smug grin on his face for the fantastic entry. These are the weekly competitions that we are getting you guys up and about. We are getting you guys smiling. We are getting your brains thinking throughout this lockdown. So exercise week number two, we're going to do this for the following four weeks, following two weeks, two, four. Anyway, this this week's challenge is a bicep curl. Boom. Not how heavy can you bicep curl, not how many bicep curls can you do, but how interesting can you make your bicep curl using what you have at home. Send your entries to LSJ underscore fitness. That is my Instagram and that is where the winner will be chosen on a YouTube video in the next week or so. Thank you so much for everyone who got involved. We had so many awesome entries involving Clearway, involving monsters, involving freaking Superman. It was awesome. Thank you so much. Enjoy the video. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a problem. As you guys can see, we only have 5.78 of nearly 500 gigabytes free. This is a pretty damn good laptop. It served me very, very well. It's still going strong. I don't need a new one just, I would love one, but I don't need one just yet. Right now I have 5.78 gigabytes and that is just not good. I've been balancing in around 20 gig for a while now. And now all of this, all this big green bar, the 204 gigabytes is going to go onto this. I recently bought a new one of these, a new external hard drive. I wasn't going to do it. I bought it. I didn't buy it for that reason. Um, but I need to do some updates to kind of keep my Mac going. You know, I have to pretty much keep it alive by keeping it up to date as much as I possibly can. So that means I'm going to do that thing that they teach you in GCSE ICT and do the old drag and drop on the 204 gigabytes that we have and put that into the new Seagate. Now, that's gonna take a while. 24 minutes, 28 minutes, 27. It keeps flickering in and around, but anyway, all you need to know is that it's gonna take a while. And so we have time to go and train. These are the things that you guys don't realize. When you do all this YouTube malarkey, all this content malarkey, you run your own media business, these things, they take hours. They literally take hours. But anyway. What's up, guys? Liam here, and welcome back to LSJ TV. Thank you so much for tuning in today. Drop the video a like if you are excited. Be sure to be getting involved in all of the competitions this week's in particular. I'm looking forward to seeing how experimental you guys can get with that. Thank you so much for tuning in. Let's get it started. Away we go. finally back to some heavy pressing we are finally there people we're gonna start training legs once per week very light the same as that video that you saw before but we're there we're gonna start doing it today heavy shoulder pressing focusing more so than anything on actually stabilizing my body keeping my core nice and tight we use this to help me today just to kind of get back into it I wouldn't usually use a belt while pressing but considering I press pretty heavy I weigh like low 70 kilos and that's 80 kilos. I'm holding it above my head for like 10, 15 seconds. You guys get the point. It's just nice to be to be back doing that, you know, to be back um, in the swing of things with that. And it's not gonna happen overnight. I am prepared for another couple of months of kind of recovery work, slowly but surely getting back into it. And then, only then we can actually start building the legs again. Um, there's not gonna be really any, any hypertrophy work done on the legs in the meantime. Just maintaining what we've got and kind of staying mobile and staying active uh, in the meantime is about as good as we can get. So today we're going to be talking bulking, how I'm feeling, how I'm looking and the plan moving forwards, right? We're not going to be talking specific dates. Well, I suppose we kind of are, but they're provisional dates because, I mean, 2020, no one knows what 2021 is going to bring, where the body power is going to be on. No one knows whether you're going to be able to go on holiday, anything like that. So anything that we say in today's video, take it loosely, take it with a pinch of salt. Um, but generally speaking, it, it's going to be kind of what we're following. So. 
Yeah, 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 that's it. Okay, cool, let's go. short I feel like the increase in calories which has been very small increase but it's been an increase nevertheless has one helped the recovery of my knee plus the obvious extra time that it's had to recover and two it's just helped me fill out we are consistently sitting at 163 pounds my weight hasn't moved anywhere and if anything because I've been able to train properly ie use a bit more heavier weights I would argue that I look better than I did at the end of summer shredding because I'm fuller, I am thicker, I am denser, but I'm still a very similar body fat percentage. You've got to bear in mind, I never actually got down to severely low body fat levels. They were low for me in comparison to my past, but they were still a very maintainable position. And I feel that's where we're at right now, a very maintainable position. Easy for me to maintain this body composition and slowly, slowly, very, very slowly add mass add muscle tissue, add gains, whatever you want to say, add strength, add size, everything, all of it. I feel like right now I am in an optimal position for training, for nutrition, and I can really, really utilize this to, to benefit me in the future, you know? I'm super, super lucky to have a setup like this. I'm super, super lucky to be talking to you guys right now. If I put everything that I'm doing right now into perspective, the gyms are shut. But I'm working from home so I can earn my money from home, editing people's videos and all that kind of stuff. I can work from home, train from home. I'm in my nice home gym. I'm sat here talking to you on a nice new tripod on a camera that works, right? I am very fortunate. Of course, some things could go wrong, but I'm very fortunate to be doing this right here, right now in this moment. And so I intend to utilize this look, right? This position that I am in, I'm gonna make the most of it because something's gonna cock up down the line, right? Somewhere, life gets in the way. But right now, I feel very lucky to be doing what I'm doing. And so I'm gonna make the most of that. Next set, final set on incline bench press, and then we're gonna move on to some fluff. Lots and lots of fluff. Really focusing on the tempo of this. Let's have it mate, down, two, three, push, good, down, two, three, push, six set, six, six, six set, see even a few weeks ago I couldn't do that because I couldn't plant my feet properly for a bench press. So I feel right now, I'm almost the same, if not just very similar body fat percentage, but with more muscle mass. I think I've put pounds on already because I've been able to use my muscles properly. I've been able to press overhead. I've been able to plant my feet for a bench press. So even things like chest press, you know, that's gone up again. Everything will fall into place, everything happens for a reason, and I do honestly believe that this knee injury happened for a reason for me. Don't see it at first, but I've been able to work on other factors, other things in my life because of this knee injury that are going to benefit me long term. And I'll go into that further down the line, but for now, very thankful to be in the position that I'm in, and I'm going to make the most of it. Together we will grow. So, of course, bear in mind, everything that I say, um, or just said, is based upon 
purely what I see in the mirror, right? And this is advice that I will always give, whether it's to an online client or in the lean bulking plan, go off what you see in the mirror. Go off what you think and what you are feeling in your head, right? Because the scale weights can lie to you. People can lie to you. Body fat testing kits can lie to you. You can go on the most comprehensive analyzed in depth hundreds of thousands of pounds worth of research equipment you could use that and it can be false it can be well not necessarily false just not very accurate right so unless you are going for mr olympia unless you are a professional athlete which the majority of us aren't the majority of the people watching this channel yes there's some diehards out there and i respect you but for me and for lots of other people that's not the case, and we just want to look a bit better, feel a little bit better. So what you should go off is primarily what you see in the mirror. And what I'm seeing in the mirror right now is progress. Progress without the body weight going anywhere, which to me means that if anything, I've maintained my body composition and put muscle mass on. Because I've not got any heavier, I've not got any fatter, my face is still nice and chiseled, you know, that jawline. You know what I'm talking about. Mmm. <laughs> You guys get the point. Go off what you see in the mirror rather than what anyone says or any scale or skin caliper test or anything like that. Bear them in mind. And of course, my scales actually have body weight trackers on them. But take it with a pinch of salt because that hydration can affect it. Where you store your body fat can affect it. Everything like that. So many things. That I, it's a completely separate video. Not going to go into it. But I feel like we've made progress and I am happy with where we are at. And that is all that matters at the end of the day. There's going to be a few hundred people watching this video. But the only person or the only thing that matters is what I see in that mirror there. What I think about what I see in that mirror. And that would directly correlate into the rest of my life with how good I feel about things, right? So as long as I'm better than I was yesterday, which we definitely are. And that's all you can ask for. And you should do the same. Don't overthink it, people. Focus on the small little things. Take the little victories and crack on. Smash it. Together we will grow. Good mood today, people. That's what I mean. 25 dips, completely body weight. I mean, I, I reached failure, I got to 25. I, I couldn't push for the 26, not with good form anyway. <sighs> Progress, man. Progress. Until tomorrow, my love. Now onto my other love. How are we doing, puppy? You okay? Do you want to tell everyone how good you've been doing? Hmm? Say hello. Say hello. <laughs> You're such a good girl. Photos library is now being put into the trash, which is going to clear up over 200 gigabytes worth of space. Hopefully things will run a lot better, a lot smoother, um, and I can just do my work a lot easier because it, it does make it difficult at times. But once this is deleted, I am uh, ready to go just about. Well, okay, I need to do the updates and it will let me do the updates. On to the bulking. Okay, okay. Do, 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 do. Middle of the day, fully clothed. We are 100 and 65.6 pounds. You guys get the point of what we're saying. Body composition wise, we are holding very, very well. Houston, we have a problem. Um, I'm trying to now reopen the library that I moved into this uh, and it's not working. So that is an issue that is not a five minute fix. Um, but we will try to fix it another time. I don't need the files that are there right now. I have other media work that I need to do right now. Um, but ladies and gentlemen, that's not good. <laughs> ha! We'll figure it out, but it's... Yeah. Go on then. Good girl. 
So instead of moping around and sat around and doing nothing, I figured, why not come down the park? I wasn't actually going to go for a walk today, I was going to go on the spin bike instead. But I figured I'd get out and about in the fresh air. It actually smells like bonfire kind of smell, I don't know why. Anyway, instead of being sat around for the next 40 minutes while that tries to sort itself out, I figured we'd come down the park and finish off today's video. So, I think it's fair to say, with the scale weight and everything like that, um, that we have been maintaining where we're at. Very comfortably, very, very comfortably. Fairly easily, I've been able to progress my list, progress my training. I managed to do pretty much all of that. Granted, a lot of it is gonna be down to me actually being able to train properly, whereas towards the end of summer shredding, I wasn't able to because of my knee and stuff. It really did hinder me um, quite a lot, which was unfortunate, but it has meant that this kind of phase where we've increased calories, bearing in mind now I'm, I'm eating like 2,300 calories instead of like 2,100 or 2,000, right? A couple hundred calories of increase per day across the week has meant that I've had the energy, the fuel, to, uh, to progress without any excess body fat. And that is the plan for the foreseeable future. So considering we are 163 consistently now, we are gonna maintain that and increase no more than 0.5 pounds per week. That is on the basis that Today's date, what's today's date? The 23rd of November, 2020, 163 pounds in one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. So by the 1st of February, we wanna be no more than five pounds heavier. We wanna still be in the 160s come February. That's it, people, I said it. I have said it, it's on camera. You guys know what that means. It's happening. Also, these sliders are that comfy. I trained in them, didn't take them off when I was in the house, and now I've actually come all the way down the park to muddy trails and stuff like this, and I'm wearing my sliders. I literally didn't even realize that I had them on. They are that comfy. I said in the My Protein video, which is going live on the same day as this, on their channel, how comfy they are and how good they are in comparison to more expensive sliders. MP sliders are the dog's bollocks. So comfortable, I literally didn't even realize I had them on, and I just came down the park and now I'm screwed in my socks and my feet are cold. I don't know what's more scary though, guys. The fact that it's only 10 weeks until February or the fact that we're actually gonna look decent at the end of this bulk, you know? The plan is to just maintain the same or similar level body fat, increase it ever so slightly because that goes hand in hand with a surplus, right? Increase size, increase strength and we'll be good. And we've said it on camera now and if you've been following me for a long time, you'll know that I tend to do everything in my power to follow through with what I say I'm gonna do on camera. Go on, pup. Good girl. So if, like me, you are excited to see where we can end up over the next few months, over the festive period, with everything that we have accessible to us, as I mentioned earlier, very fortunate to have the home gym setup that we have, very fortunate to be in the position with work and everything like that that we are currently in, and a lot of that is down to you guys. So I thank every single one of you. If you are still watching at this point in the video and you have not already dropped it a like, please take two seconds, it costs you nothing and it really, really, really helps us out, really helps us reach new people, helps us to grow. And in the long run, that'll help me to create more content as well. I know it sounds a bit daft and a bit backwards, but that is genuinely the case. So if you have not already and you have enjoyed today's video, please do me a massive favor, drop it a like, drop it a comment down below, subscribe if you are new. Thank you so much for tuning in today. Thank you so much for all of your support on the My Protein Black Friday sale. Please keep it up, we are seriously making a statement. So many of you getting involved and using the link and using the code and it just proves that we are here to stay, people. And I'm excited for the next few months on the channel. I, I really, really do think that we are onto something incredible here. I've never known a channel of our size to have the community that we have. And I, I, I mean that. Thank you so much from the bottom of my heart. Thank you, every single one of you, for all of your support lately. I can't even. Be sure to get involved in all of the exercise challenges coming in the very near future. This week's winner, congratulations to you, my friend. Job well done. My hat, my bubble hat, which are coming soon comes off to you. Thank you so much for everyone who gets involved in anything that we do. Together we will grow. I appreciate every single one of you and I'll see you in the next video.